Young space engineer Fatima Dushinsky was flying back to Perth to fulfil her dream of becoming an Australian astronaut. A German national, she and her parents called Perth home and the family lived with Seven News presenter Rick Arden while struggling to secure permanent residency. They just won that six-year battle, only to lose Fatima on MH17. Fatima's parents spoke with Rick Arden today, determined their daughter won't be forgotten. Officially, there were seven victims from WA. Mother of two, Adele Mahadi, Albany couple Arjun and Yvonne Ryder, and Nick Norris with his three grandchildren, Mo, age 12, eight-year-old Otis, and 10-year-old Evie. 25-year-old Fatima Duchinsky was the eighth. I'm Fatima, and I'm committed to bringing the possibilities of space closer to you. Flying home to her Perth parents to become a permanent Australian resident. She, she wanted to, to be a true up. blue Aussie. Yeah. She was her dream since she was 16. Fatima was the only child of George and Angela Dechinsky, and their world revolved around her. In the driveway of their rented home, a small BMW sports car from their native Germany they'd saved so hard for. It was meant to be a surprise for Fatima when she got home. She was excited to be coming home to start her new life as an Australian. I wrote her an email and she immediately came on Skype and um, she said, Mama, I'm just boarding and um, I will be home soon. Tragically, Fatima wasn't meant to be on that 777. She had to miss the previous flight because of work. Her parents were driving to Perth Airport when Malaysia Airlines called them. They uh, uh, gave yeah, our condolences. They, were, they have been very, very kind very and, kind, and very, very, very gentle. Very kind. Yes. George is a German cardiologist whose qualifications aren't recognised here. So it's been a six-year struggle to be allowed to stay in Australia. We have been preparing this new move uh, together and we have been looking forward to to be together. Fatima recently lectured in China on a new satellite phone app that kept families connected. Just, uh, three days ago, I, I went to Perth, uh, Western Australia. Maybe where are my loved ones? Until the DNA is identified, she is not pronounced death, dead. Mm, she is so not we, pronounced dead. So we it. can still be she's yes. alive. It was war and crime. Yeah. Her parents say their strong faith in God is helping them. She's our angel of peace and um, she uh, knew if we would see the earth from space and the peace and beauty of earth, there will never be any war. An angel of peace whose life ended flying over a war zone. Rick Arden, 7 News.